What was it about this role and this movie that made you go, I got to get in on this? Yeah, I mean, Lily, we were just talking about it earlier today with, pre with doing press and stuff. When we met, and I forgot this, I was like ready to pop with Ronnie. And she came in being like, I can't necessarily see you like on a stripper pole right now. But I was, I was ready. I mean, I thought Bonnie was such an interesting character and I love her films. I love her as a filmmaker and artist. So I really wanted to be a part of her body of work. And this role for me seems like it fit and, and she wanted me to do it. So we went and did it mm -hmm. and it was wild. I mean, we were, you know, it's a small, it's a small budget movie, and she is like, flies on the seat of her pants. I mean, she's just like ready to go. And uh, I mean, we were running through Bourbon Street with like, you know, like in the in the real world, yeah, like yeah, yeah. We, we weren't closing down <laughs> Bourbon Street. Yeah. And we had so much fun. So yeah. it was a great experience. I love that you said too that even though you're playing a stripper, you didn't want Bonnie to be hard. You wanted her to have a softness to her. Why was that? Oh yeah, well Bonnie Bell in this way, she doesn't care. I mean, she just doesn't have that kind of, that's not who she is. She's not like, she's not the, the kind of dancer who's hitting the gym like early in the morning. She's like in bed, like mm -hmm. she got a day off, like she's gonna mm -hmm. be in bed mm -hmm. eating her favorite foods. Mm -hmm. I didn't want her to feel flashy. That's like not really who she is. She just, survivor, gets to work, mm -hmm. does what she's gotta do, loves that money. Mm -hmm and tries to like put food on the table for her son. Bonnie gets a little freaky too. Bonnie gets a little freaky on that pole, Kate. She does, she knows what she's doing. She's been doing it a while. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, she, I also like that that's, the way that Lily shot it felt very real. Like when you go to New Orleans strip clubs and stuff, like there was something just so wonderfully honest about that the whole scene. How long were you in training, pole dancing training? Oh, well actually I started working with Sheila Kelly when I was like 25, just as an exercise and as like a movement. And I think it's really actually really amazing for women to move that way, but for themselves. So I've actually, I've actually, you know, been very familiar with pole dancing for a long time. How much of Kate is in Bonnie? Not much. <laughs> Not much. I have to be honest. I mean, I, I think I think maybe there's certain things about Bonnie that I wish I had. Like, she just doesn't care. Like, she's so there's so much freedom and not caring what people think. Like, she's just like she just does her day without thinking about how anybody is seeing her or observing her. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a very freeing thing. It was very freeing to play. Mm -hmm. Your son in this movie, he can be a little bit flip with you. Oh, yeah? So, he, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. So, I'm curious, as a mom, because you have children, you just have a recent high school graduate, how do you deal with your kids kind of talking back and being flip with you? Well, that doesn't go well in my house. <laughs> I'm not, I'm actually quite a strict parent. My kids don't, my kids don't talk back. They know there's consequences to something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it happens, you know, kids test your patience and the boundaries and you know you gotta you gotta just dog is a gently star. I know is the best <laughs> yeah. Benny is such yeah, a so star cute. he was in Venice too yeah. oh, so he was cute. out on the big Venice red carpet just he's like a pro it was loving. like posing yeah yeah. Um, yeah I mean I think you know I, my rule for kids is like there's no negotiating mm. there's being concerned and mm. hoping that you know, wanting to know how they feel, because mm -hmm. that's important. But like, if it's a no, it's never gonna be a yes. Yeah, I'm feeling right? you. Right? Yeah. I gotta ask you, you teased on your Instagram that you were going to be releasing some music. Yeah. I saw you singing on Jimmy Fallon, a little doo-wop. Yeah. You sound great. Thanks. Is that still on the yes. horizon? Oh yeah, I'm making a record. I'm really excited about it. I finally, in COVID, I was just like, you know what? If I don't make a record, I'm gonna regret it. In my life, like, I just have to make a record. For me, for whoever enjoys it, like it just I just want it out there. So yeah, I'm making a record with Linda Perry, who's an amazing songwriter. Mm -hmm. And we're now like, you know, we're still in it. It should be should be done pretty soon. That's amazing. Well thank you so much. Also, before we let you go, I saw on Instagram for Daughter's Day, you posted this beautiful photo of you and your mom. Oh yeah. Yeah. Aww. When you have a parent that works 
and does the same thing as you, like you're in the same business. Yeah. Do you like call her? Do you get advice like when you want to take a role? Like what's the best advice she's ever given you? You know, I think the thing, for me, my mom is more like comforting. I call my mom when I just need a big warm hug, you know? And, uh, and it's nice to have someone that really understands some of the challenges of being a parent and wanting to be out in the world and working and also wanting to be home. And that's something that I, her and I, that I, I do sort of bring to her, like having a hard time with balancing those things. But, you know, we don't really... The advice in our family with like movies, it's like, we don't even know what half of us are doing all the time. It's like why it's doing something with Marvel and yeah. my brother, my brother's shooting something right now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's always something. Yeah. After a while, you're kind of like, did you see it? Not yet. I'm, we'll, we'll get to it. You know. Yeah.